everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 22nd, 2021. Let's see what we have going on here. Have you had any epiphanies? Have you had some revelations? What's your deal? Okay, <laughs> Eight of Raphael. So a lot of emotional transformation. It says there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So again, here's the spiritual quest. Something is making you realize whatever you need to heal, whatever you need to seek or find or whatever within yourself, it's becoming more and more apparent. So some of the surface level blocks are falling away and you're going to go within. It has, it's emotional. So it's going within. And as far as releasing a situation, this right here, I'm telling you, by this day, you probably have had some lovely, you know, sit, uh, healing. Let's just call it healing. Some lovely healing around a situation. And you feel like you can walk away from the pain. Now, for some of you, this is walking away from the situation or walking away and going, because it could go the other way. I mean, you could have a conversation with somebody and you always wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. But you're sitting there and you're watching them and they're blaming you for everything and they're not taking any accountability and it's just poor them, poor them. You did everything to them. Then you know, okay, <laughs> I, I can be at peace with walking away. <laughs> right? I can be at peace with that choice. Uh, but this could also, it's, this isn't really the card of a new beginning. But it is, I think, a, a message here of now that that's gone, now that that is done, how do I feel? And that's where you go on the journey. That's where you start realizing, I feel free now to love, perhaps. Um, or I feel free. Now, some of you, I know every time we start talking about stuff like this, everyone's always going through some sort of divorce, right? Not everybody, but <laughs> there's always a viewer out there who's dealing with that. And sometimes, you know, when stuff like this starts happening, they're like, oh, does that mean the divorce is going to be settled? It means it, you know, maybe not legally settled yet, but you may feel more settled in the decision to go through with this. Or you may feel more at peace or maybe hopefully even have a little compassion for what <laughs> that this is hard on the other party as well. Do you feel me? So it is moving on. It is finding something that, um, that you need to heal. Okay. Uh, but when we say moving on, yeah, there, there's sort of this mutual, it's like a truce, right? There's a mutual agreement. It, for some of you, it might be, okay, we're going to have to agree to disagree or which never really resolves anything. Someone's still always ticked off, right? <laughs> Us humans, what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> but this could mean, okay, now I understand this and now we're going to move on from the turmoil. We're going to move on from the toxicity. We're going to move on from the anger and the hurt and the pain. Very, very promising. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.